how to do this ultra high jump and how it works in 200 seconds. The ultra high jump works by phasing through three builds to gain a bunch of extra height. You phase here, here, and here. The general rule of thumb for phasing is if 50% or more of your characters through a build, you'll phase upwards. So the goal of this jump is to place each build when your character is in a position where you can do so. Start by standing and jumping while placing a ramp such that you'll phase above it. When you mess up, you'll Harry Potter yourself. Make sure to place the ramp at the peak of your jump and not too soon. Next, start adding a floor into the mix. If you're landing too low on the ramp, the floor will stay phasing. To correct this, position such that you'll land higher up on the ramp before placing the floor. Finally, place the last ramp after the floor. You want to land around the bottom quarter of the ramp for this to work. Like before, landing wrong will cause you to phase through the ramp or Harry Potter yourself. Generally, the best place to be able to pull this off is around the quarter line vertically and horizontally on the floor. If we take the cross section of where you need to be to phase upwards through the floor and the ramp that you place, you get that ideal point. Since it's not as useful to do jumps from a standing position, next you should work on landing this jump while running. There are two scenarios where you'll usually want to do this. First, running on flat ground. Looking back at that ideal point we marked on the floor, we can add a third dimension and note that the ideal height is at the peak of your jump. Since running causes your jump to arc instead of going straight up and down, we want to time our jump to peak around that point. You can test this for yourself, but I've found that that's usually around right after you place a floor in front of yourself. Like before, you can work up to this by practicing with just a ramp, then a ramp and a floor, and finally the entire move. Second, we're running up a ramp. Once again, we want to hit that hot spot. If you jump forward from the edge of the ramp, your jump will peak past the point where you can place that last ramp. To remedy this, you can jump at an angle instead, cutting across the tile and causing you to land not as far. It's worth noting that this will cause you to lose some horizontal speed since you're not moving straight when you do this. Of course, you can also do this move in two parts instead, having the first jump only land on the floor and then immediately jumping again to place the final ramp. This moves the ideal point back a bit and lets you jump straighter and faster in exchange for jump fatigue. To chain these jumps together, you can edit the ramp you're standing on to rotate it 90 degrees. This allows you to phase the top of the ramp like before when you were placing the ramp yourself. Thanks for watching.